Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg. Today we're going to talk about a tractor PTO. What is a tractor PTO? What does it mean? What do you need to know about it? And we're going to focus mainly on the smaller compact and subcompact tractors. Once you get into that large 200 horsepower tractor range, you get into a couple little variations I'll talk about, but we're going to focus on these smaller tractors because that's what we sell the most of and a lot of our customers are buying. So first off, what is a PTO? It stands for power takeoff. And realistically, what that means is you're taking the power from the tractor and you're putting it to an implement. So realistically, I like to take off, instead of PTO, uh, power takeoff, I like to take the power off of something. So if you put, let's say the most common thing is a bush hog on the back of your tractor, you need somehow to power that bush hog, of course. So you're gonna be taking the power off the tractor via a PTO drive shaft. Um, and so that shaft is gonna transmit the power from your tractor into your bush hog to spin the blades and start doing the work. Same thing with a postal digger, a tiller, a hay rake, or a number of other implements. So the most common PTO on a tractor is going to be your rear PTO. That's what most people think about when you're talking PTOs, is something that you plug up to the rear. And of course, if you look in here, you have what is commonly known as the six spline PTO shaft right there. This is a little B series and this has a six spline PTO shaft. Your bush hog, your tiller, your implement would have a shaft that connects from the implement onto that PTO. And again, it's gonna be six spline on both ends. That is universal. Every tractor, every brand, every make and model around this size for the last couple of decades and realistically longer than that, use a six spline, same size PTO shaft. Now, once you get into those bigger ones, you'll run into 20 and 21 inch or spline shafts and thousand RPMs and all these other complicated things that we're not gonna really worry about today. What a lot of people don't realize is on these smaller tractors that they have a middle PTO or a mid PTO shaft. And it looks very similar to this system. And what it's designed for is running mower decks most commonly. So if we look over here, we have this BX23S. It's got the backhoe on it. Behind the backhoe would have the PTO. But up underneath the tractor, if you come in this way, you'll actually see that up underneath the tractor, there is a PTO. And I don't know if we'd be able to see it going up underneath there. Probably not with the way this one is, but there is a drive shaft that connects this mower deck onto a middle PTO. So when you're running these smaller tractors, you're gonna have a multiple levered system. Right here, you're gonna have some levers that engage your PTO, but you're also gonna have, come on in and look at this, zoom in. You're gonna have a middle range option. So you're basically, this is gonna be running the middle of your tractor, that mid PTO, the rear of your tractor there. And then you're gonna have one that could run both if for some reason you needed to run both PTOs. So if you wanted to run a bush hog, you'd put it there and you would engage your PTO. Or if you wanted to run the mid-mount lower deck, you'd slide it up there and you'd engage it again. Now a PTO can be dangerous, especially on the rear because it is a spinning drive line. So you'll see these plastic housings over the PTO shaft that cover it so you don't get a jacket caught up on it and get snagged in and pull yourself in. It happened way too many times, so it's required now to have these plastic guards over the PTO shaft because it killed people, snapped limbs, snapped arms, the whole nine yards, because you get caught in that thing, it's gonna spin you up. On the middle, you don't have to worry about it as much, but on the rear, try to never have that PTO shaft spinning when you're gonna be around it, like running a wood chipper. If you have to be, be very conscientious of what you're doing around it, you want to be safe. Now again, talking about the middle PTO, there are other things you can use a middle PTO for. You could use it for, let's say, a front-mounted mower deck or a snowblower or a broom. And so we can look at the Kubota F-Series here, and this actually has that PTO shaft running from the center of the tractor to the implement on it. So you've got this PTO shaft there that transmits the power from the tractor into the implement on the front on this one or into the implement on the rear. Some things to note, PTOs are mainly called 540 PTOs. And what that stands for is that's a 540 rotations per minute, RPM, rotations per minute. And that is when you're at your ideal speed, that shaft is spinning that fast. And that transmits the proper power into your implement. Now, some tractors have a thousand PTO setting or thousand PTO setting. So what that does is that's gonna allow it to spin a thousand rotations per minute, much faster to transmit better power into whatever implement. This is mainly on larger tractors, but even some of our smaller tractors have those settings. 
Now, most of the time when we sell a smaller tractor, it's a hydrostat, which means you don't have to worry about shifting and clutching to engage your PTO like in a car to basically engage yourself driving forward. But if you are getting a gear drive tractor, if we look at the one right behind you, we have this gear drive tractor that you have a clutch in that you do have to clutch in and out for using your PTO. So when you engage your PTO, you need to clutch in, engage your PTO and slowly release off to slowly start the process of spinning that power takeoff shaft and your implement. The downside to a gear drive tractor with a PTO is going to be that you're driving and your PTO is connected. So if you're backing up and you push in your clutch to disconnect your PTO, you're also disconnecting your drive, unless you get to like the L3901, which would have a two-stage clutch. That two-stage clutch basically means that you have two stages to it. Your first stage is driving, and then your second stage is your implements. So you could actually go forward and you could push in your first stage, shift gears while your implement is still spinning, and then let out again. But most commonly, the older ones and these smaller ones have a single stage clutch, which would be pushing in, you're disconnecting your PTO, and you're going to disconnect basically your drive at the same time. Some of the nicer tractors have will have an electronic engaged PTO, which is a button. There's no shifting, there's no clutching, and this is most common on the hydrostats as well, some of the middle range tractors. You push a button, it turns on your PTO, you push the button to turn it off. You don't have to worry about switching gears or shuff, uh, shifting shuttles or anything like that to it. So electronic PTO or a hydraulic independent PTO is the ideal way to go. Um, again, there's so many variations to this, but what you need to take away is PTO is basically how you're transmitting the power from your tractor into your implement and you need to make sure that you have the right size implement for the right size tractor. If you've got a 25 horsepower tractor, you're probably gonna have about 18 PTO horsepower because it transmits from the engine to that PTO shaft on the rear. So you don't wanna be running a seven foot bush hog with that small tractor because you're not gonna have enough power to it. So match your tractor to your implements, pay attention to your PTO, always be safe when running anything PTO implement, just like a wood chip or a wood split or anything, because you do have that spinning shaft, make sure you don't have any loose clothing or anything like that around it. So if you have any other questions, of course, reach out to your local dealership, let us know, answer with any questions you have, and we'll see what we can take care of.